While the White House initially denied knowledge of a Chinese spy base in Cuba, likely to avoid tensions before Secretary Blinken's trip to Beijing, a follow-up statement confirmed that the base did in fact already exist and had been actively spying on Americans for years. U.S. officials also confirmed the presence of four eavesdropping facilities on the island. Shortly after this, further reports emerged in the Wall Street Journal of Chinese plans to establish a military training facility on the island that would leave Chinese military personnel just 100 miles off the coast of Florida. U.S. intelligence reports that while Chinese-Cuban negotiations are ongoing and at an advanced stage, the White House is still trying to prevent this deal from going ahead. These recent revelations will do little to improve relations between China and the U.S., with Secretary Blinken telling China that they would have deep concerns about Chinese intelligence or military activities in Cuba. Republican Representative Matt Gates went further, calling on President Biden to use military force to take out any Chinese assets in Cuba. Gates further added, we should be a lot more concerned that China is functionally turning Cuba into a stationary aircraft carrier right off the coast of Florida. And a joint statement from the Senate Intelligence Committee read, The United States must respond to China's ongoing and brazen attacks on our nation's security. We must be clear that it will be unacceptable for China to establish an intelligence facility within 100 miles of Florida and the United States in an area also populated with key military installations and extensive maritime traffic. These plans were strongly denied by Cuban officials who released a statement saying the reports were fabricated by the US. And China's foreign ministry denied any spying from Cuba, with one official stating, it's well known that the US interferes in the affairs of other countries and has been a leading power in hacking and eavesdropping. This unfolding situation highlights Cuba's strategic importance in its close proximity to the US mainland and has minor echoes of the Cuban Missile Crisis, which is generally regarded as the point at which the US and Soviet Union came closest to nuclear war. While there is no suggestion of any current plans to base these kinds of weapons on the island, the presence of both a spy base and Chinese troops so close to the US mainland raises the stakes significantly and comes after a series of unfriendly interactions between the countries, including a recent incident where a Chinese jet buzzed a US reconnaissance plane, leading to the Pentagon criticizing this behavior as dangerous and unprofessional. In another potential echo of the Cuban Missile Crisis, China may feel justified in stationing troops in Cuba due to the presence of U.S. personnel in Taiwan, roughly the same distance from the Chinese mainland as Cuba is from Florida. Ultimately, the Cuban Missile Crisis ended when Kennedy agreed to remove his Jupiter missiles from Turkey if Khrushchev removed his offensive weapons in Cuba. With at least 100 U.S. troops currently conducting training in Taiwan and almost $2 billion in arms sales from the U.S. agreed in the last year, the Chinese may be setting up for a similar sort of negotiation. But U.S. support for Taiwan seems firm for now even if the White House and Senate are seemingly on different pages. In his recent visit to China, Secretary Blinken said that the US did not support an independent Taiwan. At the same time, US senators just introduced a bill to fast-track weapons deliveries to Taiwan in an attempt to speed up the transfer of a $19 billion backlog of arms shipments. Senator Scott and Sullivan want deliveries to Taiwan to be put at the top of the delivery priority list due to current threats it faces from China. Some arms shipments aren't scheduled for delivery for many years. Relations between China and the US are, in the words of Beijing, at the lowest point in 40 years, and despite Antony Blinken's recent visit, the hostile military encounters on the sea and in the air, continued espionage and trade restrictions, all suggest any significant improvement is unlikely, with further escalation probable.